All right, so where are we? Let's see. So we have productions in full swing. We just had to turn this third one on to support the copper industry. What do we have in here already? So we are manufacturing. Uh, we have copper wire cable coming in already. Um, have cables in here. So we are we are manufacturing. We're well on our way to manufacturing. One thing I am going to do just for temporary purposes is I'm going to remove that and so 100% of my copper coming in is going to go into this assembler. Turn that off. So 100% coming in. Now that will probably result in me having a massive surplus. Um, I actually don't think it'll really affect things too much but this copper does come in pairs anyways so since it takes two yeah yeah we are we're 100 percent efficient on that now because i need 200 cable i need 200 rod i need 500 of these guys and 300 plate to complete this milestone so then i can start making reinforced plate i also need to figure out Uh, what's going on with my objective of building a space elevator? What do I need to build a space elevator? Oh, I need a lot of copper wire to build a space elevator. Huh. And I need a lot of concrete. I need a lot of plate. Well, the good news with the plate is everything I make that's plate goes straight in. Um, is there a way I could deconstruct these and get my resources back? You know, is there, is there a way I could destroy without trashing? I hate to say I might have to just trash these. There's at the moment, I, I can remake these things really easily. I don't have a need for them. They take up a shit ton of space. Get get rid of them. Let me go get all my copper ore. I'm going to put this into the copper side of things. Copper ore, sorry. The uh, copper ingots. And just load up on copper ingots right here. Um... So yeah, so I need to do it at this point. This, well, I can't tell if I'm having, no, I, I shouldn't be having any issues with manufacturing. Everything looks to be, looks to be decently calmed down at this point. There's, you know, just enough spaces in here. Everything's timed out really well, I think. Um, so that manufacturing is doing pretty good. So, like I said, I, I do think I'd need a second constructor, though, for the copper wire. And I think that's actually pretty well confirmed at this point. Uh, right, so let me probably just sneak a merger in right here. I'll put a I'll move this power over I guess and yeah let's let's do something like that let's piss off a bunch of places here sort of a, a warning everything has just been shut down by accident uh, that needs power that needs power and you should have one more I won't shit I need to put in a what am I missing? Uh, I'm out of copper wire. I need to drop a second pole in right there just so I can link up to everything. Everything's back online. Now I can come in, I can put in a, another constructor. 
uh, right here. I can delete this out. Oh my god, I just deleted my new constructor. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I'll throw those in there. There we go. So that can still sit there and manufacture while I'm dicking around out here. Okay, now I need to do a merger. Pray that it'll fit right here. Uh, da, 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 da. It don't look like it'll fit right there. Oh, uh, wait, I was in the wrong spot, technically, but I still don't think it'll really want to fit right here. It looks like it's going to be pissed. So, let's try it. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. There's only... Uh, invalid shape. Damn. Okay, let's... Not that one. Alright, so I need a merger. I need a merger over here. Just kind of give it a little bit of space there. And I need a splitter. Why am I being stupid about this? Oh, it's because okay, yeah, when I when I want to change what I'm doing, that's why I'm doing it this way. I was literally like, why am I merging and then splitting and merging and splitting and doing all sorts of weird stupid shit? Um, future proofing. So all I have to do is just build a uh, conveyor right where I want the conveyor to go because we're not actually using the splitting function right now Oh, I can actually stack these things on top of each other, too. That's kind of cool. I'll think about doing that here later. So yeah, then we're just going to take this one, take it into the ass into this machine. There we go. And then from there to there. To me, that looks pretty good for now. All right. And I do need a splitter over here. And last but not least, I'm going to get a really bad conveyor shape. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Um... Well, shit. What if I do exactly what I just saw I can do? Let me put the splitter, uh, put a conveyor splitter right on top of a conveyor splitter. Like right here. Just to stack it funny as hell. Now if I put a... where's my button? There it is. Now can I tangle that into there? No, you're still being a bitch. Oh man. Okay. That'll tangle into this. Only because it's going to clip that pretty bad there too. So, so. 
Okay, well, what if I come up here and I tell it to do a UE turn to, like, right here? Well, every way I look at it, I gotta delete this. I don't know if I have. Alright. Production's gonna come to a grinding halt pretty, pretty quick if I don't hurry up, so... Okay, I need input on this side, output on the other. So let's set her up like this, angle it so it would actually work. Oh shit, I have with that way, way, way too sharp of an angle. Bigger, sharper angle than I meant to be. I didn't realize I was that way. I need it just right there in that hole. So. think that might be a little too tight yet. Well, let's find out. Yeah, it's definitely clipped pretty good. Um, let me go back just a little bit more. This thing's massive. It's like balance. Gotta balance where the hell I put it, basically. Okay, there. That might work. Pretty sure the other side will. Okay, now we got shit working. stuff back into it. There we go. There we go. I can delete the top one here. Alright, now you are not configured. Do wire, please. Uh, are you not on? Hello? No power. Oh, I must have fucked up when I was moving it. Never linked power into it. There we go. So, yep. So now we're going to have constant movement going into this guy. then we have constant coming out and there we go yeah then if I want to I can either just run that over here or I can just run that to there and you know either way it works either darn way it works it future proofs everything really nicely I need to, at the end of the day I just need 200 of this wire which I actually already kind of have. <laughs> so I can go ahead and run this. Now. Do I have 300 plate, which I have, 500 of that. I need 200 of the bars. Only got 140. Let me go check my other inventory box to see what I got in there. Nothing. Not a thing. But we can go ahead and drop all this in. Let's see. Let me see. Oh, there is actually a backup of steel going on over here. Or steel ingots, that is. Let me grab some of my own steel ingots. I'll go make go make some of my own rod so I can get that damn thing launched. Sometimes the boss has to do manual work, manual labor. I probably need to get a second uh, set of those in there. 
iron rods seem to take a little longer. Alright, we got 200 now. Bombs away! Milestone reach. There it goes. Assembly of parts can now be automated. Project assembly parts can now be constructed and sent up via the space elevator. Note, project parts are too complex hmm. to produce by hand. Complex parts. Interesting. So, was this the the part assembly one that I just completed. Okay. I do need to build the space elevator. That's what I need to focus on now. Building this damn space elevator, which I need a shit ton of concrete, a shit ton of wire cabling, so that means that I'm actually going to take all my schools. You know, this whole this whole assembly line kersh shuffling I have going on right here. I'm actually going to change it over so it's nothing but copper wire going in. And, you know, so my spools of wire, all the black cable can stop flowing in. We just need a bunch of this right here. So it's concrete. I need a bunch of steel bars so I'm actually going to have to stop my production sending right here as well, which is the only way I can do it. I hate that it's the only way I can do that, but it is what it is. Reality is, this this thing takes a long time to produce a steel rod. And I need more steel rods. So I think... I think I'm going to need to, I think I'm going to need to change how I have the steel rod being made. How fast does it make a plate? It's 20 per minute, but it's 15 per minute for rods. The rod is already taking longer anyways. Let's see. It's a splitter, right? That's a splitter. Shit. need to kind of I already need to redesign a part of my factory this stinks um, okay so what if I put oh I have a conveyor right here shit Put a conveyor belt right there. Well, let's say I could put a put a combiner here. Put another one. You know, put put a splitter. So I send some iron up to here. We have another manufacturing, which goes to here. I take that one, route it up, and that goes into this, and it goes into there. I could do that as well. Or I could be patient. Wait, how are these doing actually? 91. So all these should be right at 91. So, oh shit, this guy, I forget, burns faster. This guy right here burns shit way faster. I need to go scalvage. Let me go, let me go grab some, some brush and stuff. Think about what I want to do here to fix this. Because, ooh, got some berries. I should be able to actually go take those, put them into my uh, deal. Okay, let's see, where are my leaves? Come on, pick it up. Yeah, 
I'm going to need to really focus on upgrading stuff because I cannot keep collecting leaves. This is running out pretty quick. Not going to be good when I run out of leaves in the nearby area and I have to run 20 minutes to go find leaves. And biomass that I can burn. So, you know, as awesome as my automation is, it is very, very consuming of resources. Ooh, got a blue power slug though. I wonder if I can get a uh, hatchet and chop some of these trees down too. I feel like that would be a lot of wood. Alright, I think I might have enough leaves now. I have 600 some odd of them. Wow, I had a lot of little leaves over here. Okay. Oh yeah, here's my iron ore being manufactured. Well, that's not quite the right word. Being mined, that'd be a better word. Uh, alrighty. I bet I could probably... Oh, what does the power shard do, though? need to find in my codex what a power shard is and what it does. You know, a little bit of power stuff, but how long will it power stuff is the question. Okay, so there we go. That's enough to top off all of my machines. Which are burning excessive amounts. some odd. Space elevator takes a shit ton of resources. Okay. Power shard. What does this do? Okay. Well, I might as well go ahead and build it. And a rotor. I don't know what a rotor quite is yet. Let's go over to this bench and see if I can put it in at all, maybe? Oh, I need some bars to do that. I need some rotors to do that. But I can do this. Research overclock production. Hmm. Oh, so I could use a power shirt to over... Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Let me grab these. I know that I need to save these, and these are one of my longest freaking things to make, but... But... I want to do research on my blue slug. Alright, what do we have here? Okay, nutrients. Let's research it. So I found some of that. Okay. I don't have that though. Alien organisms. Don't have one. Darn. Uh don't have one. 
Don't have one. Can't afford that either. Anything down here on this tree can I afford? Oh, what's this? Research. Parent node. I thought I had some of that. Do I have some of it hiding over here? I have some of this. I got some of that. Let me go see if that's what I need or... Oh no, wait, maybe I need to, to make, because I did see something down here, hog protein. I need to get some hog material. Didn't I save some of that? Yeah, there we go. I make some protein from hogs. Now can I do this? Oh, I need five and then go kill one more hog. Dang it. Those are guys I really don't like going to go see. They kind of, you know, they'd be a little pissed it off. They get a little pissed off with me. Hmm. Before I go, here's what I will do. Um, to make my space elevator, I need 250 plates, and I need just clicked off of it 400 rods. So. I already have my plates. That's kind of what I thought. So I'm going to configure this guy over. I'm moving, so I hope it'll stick to rods. There we go. That's what I want. <clears throat> the space elevator. We don't need anything else. Concrete. That's already dedicated and doing its thing. I'll go double check it. This guy. I need, need a shit ton of cabling here. I'm going to put my cables back in here though. Um, where I'm going I don't need it. Okay and then last but not least I want to go double check and make sure this industry is doing good. It looks like it is. Let me make sure both productions are still doing their thing. Looks like they are. Yep. 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 Oh man that's awesome. Very pleased with that. Alright, let's go hunting. Oh, and how much was in there? I didn't even notice. I need 500. Hey, there we go. We've got 500. Alright. Go find one more hog skin. And grab some more foraging material. Do I have enough room in here? Uh, it should be fine. I'll be fine. It's all good. We're good. It's good. I forget actually I think out over here I have my plate is it still out here did it despawn no nope, my plate's still here yay I hope y'all don't kill me on that comment section about that plate just sat out there resting for a little bit oh we've got some wood out here that's good the wood is the good stuff I've always kind of been a little afraid to go running this way. Damn. Should have come this direction more often. There's a shit ton of material out here. Look at all this fuel. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. What specimen? What? What the hub? What the hell? This specimen? Oh, wow. Okay. Collecting. Multiple fix it personnel in the area. Proceed with harvest before it's too late. Oh. 
that sucks. Well, that's a fire alarm. 